Good evening, everybody in action from the state girls golf tournament. Kirk Sills, Abby Boyer shot a 92. Team wise, the Macon girls shot a 391 individually. Paige Hawkins shot an 85. Cassie Martin, 87. Hannah Hilker, 103. Natalie Berman, 116. And Megan Rector, a 130. While former Kirksville golfers Serena Berry and Haley Berry shot an 81 and 82. They now play for Father Tolton. In high school football, Kirksville lost to Helias 44 to 4 Saturday night. We were in it early, um, and then it just kind of imploded on us those last four or five minutes of the second quarter. Um, it was 13-7 up until then, and then it just kind of one thing uh, led to another, and it snowballed, got out of hand pretty quick. After a promising start to the season, Schuyler County lost five in a row. However, the Rams are still playing hard, and it paid off Friday night as they beat West Rand 24-22. We've been in a lot of close games this year, and, you know, we, it came down to a two-point conversion, and our kids made the play, and, you know, it, it was fun. Let's head to Macon. The Tigers continue to play good football. Friday, they disposed of a Louisiana 75 to nothing. Good experience for our younger guys. Our starters only played a quarter, so, um, you know, it got them a little rest and a lot of valuable uh, playing time for our younger guys. It'll be senior night Friday for Ottumwa as the Bulldogs look to knock Cedar Rapids Kennedy out of the playoffs. When you're, re you're reaching for anything you can get as far as a motivation, and so playing spoiler on, you know, on our senior night is a huge motivation for us. In college football, big road win for Truman State as they beat 20th ranked Southwest Baptist 20 to 16. Hats off to our football team. I thought the players, they've done a good job all year preparing, uh, but that was really, really evident Saturday. They were really ready to play football in all three phases and really came out and put on a clinic in the first half. In high school softball, the play to will host Salisbury in sectional action Wednesday night at 6. The Bulldogs have all the ingredients to advance. They just can't beat themselves. I think we'll get people on base. We can't run into outs, which we've done at times in the past. Sometimes it's me. We are not making the errors we made early in the season, and we're doing a good job on the base pass. So, you know, I like our chances. The Truman State volleyball team has its mojo back. The Bulldogs have won four in a row. So the consistency is starting to come, and so that's been a huge part of it is we've been playing through whole sets. It hasn't been we've been giving up big runs in the past, and we haven't been doing that lately. Teresa is up next with final weather. Stay with us.